Holy smokes, that's some amp pull. <laughs> It's a lot of gigawatts, alternators, batteries, you got a 2000 watt system, an amplifier, and you're ready to make the next step to get your voltage better. We're going to talk about it and we're going to test it. We are going to be testing for 2600 watts. Around this range is where you're really going to want to add more power, period. So with 2600 watts being pulled from the battery, that's a 75% efficient amplifier, 2000 watts. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull 2,600 watts out of this battery before we even turn the car on. That's what we're gonna do because I wanna get a control of the differences between the alternator, what that's doing, what the lithium battery's doing, the Titan 8, and a mixture of both and high output alternators. There's, there's a lot here, it's gonna be awesome. Down here we have two power supplies and we're going to be turning those on and off because these are going to be simulating uh, an alternator or two of them together a high output alternator we got a older agm but she's got some life i i pulled a thousand amps so she's got a thousand cranking amps still she's okay and then we got a titan 8 power series 5. let's go to 2600 watts here and uh, I'm gonna try to keep the rolls as even as I can. Love you, mom. Thank you for all that you do for me and dad. I love you so much, guys. Appreciate that you're here. All right, cool. Keep wanna call power supply, but our alternator's off. We need to do that stock uh, control run, just the AGM battery, nothing else. 2,600 watts. Let's do it nice and easy now. Come on, Andy. Come on. Boom, got it. 2,625 watts, dropping down to 10.6 volts. And let's just get a little zoom in shot there. That's how I should have had it. Down to 10.6 volts, pulling 247 amps. And that current is gonna be really the deal breaker of all this stuff. I'm telling you, voltage times current equals power better voltage less current needed so let's write this down 10.6 volts is really low but you can still see that this battery is pretty strong even down to 10 volts and, and we're going to be talking about that a lot for, through all this as well all right now we got one power supply on aka our stock alternator and this is going to be the other control of the test there we go 2600 watts Woo! 2660 watts and we only drop down to 12 volts instead and we pulled 223 amps so a little less current and around the same power literally uh 20 35 more watts so you can tell already by just having the alternator on we're pulling less current to make the same power and our voltage is staying around 12 volts now we want to see if we can make more so next one we're going to do is stock alternator but now we're going to run the titan 8 with it two 1600 watts again and see if we can beat 11.9 volts let's do it i'm trying to keep the runs pretty equal with the load and the pull right there nice so with the stock alternator but now with the titan 8 in there alongside the agm we're pulling, you know, the same amount of power, dropping down to 12.8 volts, and now even less current, 205 amps to do the same 2,600 watts. And that's really good. Let's do this. Instead of buying the Titan 8, let's just upgrade the alternator. Let's put a high output alternator in here with the AGM. 
Let's see the difference. Thank you so much, El Fuego. Thanks for the content, and much thanks to all the fellow Living Loud with Andy supporters. I love you guys, man. You guys make this show keep going. Period. CM Enclosures, I like this show. There's some things in car audio that's just easier to show people rather than try to explain it in 100%. Now we need to do the high output alternator and only the AGM, and we are full tilt. No current whatsoever. It is, it is good to go. So let's do 2,600 watts with the high output alternator now. <laughs> Ohio generator. <clears throat> Rolling up. If you do need an alternator, though, it is in the description. Ohio generator. Get them a call. Tell them Andy sent you, and they will hook you up. 2,600 watts. And boom. Dropping down to 13.6 volts. And only pulling 193 amps. That's even less current and better voltage than it was with adding the Titan 8. Now, I know a lot of you guys are going to be asking, you know, why, well, why, well, why is that? And simply put, a battery has an operating range, okay? Your AGM, your normal car battery, lead acid, and even these Titan 8s that are meant to work with low voltage, you know, like your normal cars. Um, your 12.6 to 14-ish volts operating range. And when you start with a battery voltage, it's going to drop, you know, it just, it's physics. It's going it, to, the voltage is going to drop. So if you don't want the voltage to drop as much... Well, then you need more alternator. If you want the voltage to just be a higher voltage when it drops, you have to start higher. That's the thing. These are 12 volt batteries. And then you start getting into the conversation of 14 volt batteries, six series LTO, NCM, whatever, uh, CMAX cells, and just other chemistries or even sodium that can run at high voltage and stuff and that's where you really get a lot of the performance out of sodium is above 14.8 and a lot of those six series uh cells and so you have to charge higher um and and i've done some testing on the side but we're not going to get into that. that's another video with you know the whole 5s 6s love you jake uh but still and there's you, you got to charge higher you got to charge higher but for your normal person that wants your voltage to be better it's a big step, but your alternator is going to make the power, right? But just like anything, there is a diminishing return of, you know, how much power it can do. Let's just for fun, um, we can hook up the, LT the, the Titan 8 LTO, but honestly, I think it's going to do around the same. Let's try that and then we'll do a higher power test. You just got to look at it. All right, so let's do the 2,600 watts and see if we can do better than 13.6 volts. Twist his base knob. Oh, a little high, but still about the same. Let's go above what that alternator can do because that alternator can do 200 amps. And I want to show you guys something that's really kind of cool. And it, it, it's going to work for both. But let's just do it with the AGM battery by itself. Let's pull. I'll, I'm going to do a slow roll because I want to show you guys this. And you're going to look at this, okay? We're going to go right past what the alternator can do. Because everyone wants to say that they want higher voltage. And they're going to add more batteries, right? Once you go over, look at that. As soon as I go over, I am down to 12.8. I just drop. You know, and now I'm getting into the battery. Now I'm getting into the battery and really just tip, just kind of, you know, on the tip of it. It can take a lot more and still stay around that range of 11 volts. Now, obviously that's a lot of power for one AGM battery, but you could tell it had a lot of beef down in the 11 to 12 volt range. That's why these are great for starting a car. And you know, they rate crank amps lower than 10 volts. So that's where you get that 800,000 crank amps out of a battery for AGM. And once you go past, once you go past what the alternator can do, regardless if you have an AGM 
or a lithium, like a lithium iron phosphate, they rest a little bit higher than an LTO of the five series. And I would have pulled the JY40 out to done it to do it, but it would have been pretty close to the same, a little better results, but still it's a 12 volt battery, really more so a 13. Uh, they rest at 13.3 volts, but still not that higher range. So once you go past what the alternator can do, then you start dipping into the battery and the battery it's below its nominal uh, voltage is where the strength is. It's like, think of, you know, when you're, when you're working out or something and you're doing curls, you're not as strong picking something up right here as you are here where you can just lift more right there. And that's the same concept of anything with physics and a battery of just, that's where the meat and potatoes are. And it just, every battery is like that. So why people run the higher voltage is so whenever they start higher, they drop higher. So they don't drop as low. So you could run the six series LTO and charge it like 14, eight. And it's, it's awesome. Let me tell you, cause then you're dropping to like, instead of 11 to 12 volts, you're dropping to 14 to 13 volts. And that's why a lot of people do that. Uh, but there are some things that you have to think about when doing that. Um, just charging higher, maybe to get more capacity out of the cells isolator i don't know i i feel like with lto you can get away with it because you got so many cycles now lithium iron phosphate running that in 5s i've seen people do that for amp dinos that's crazy i wouldn't do that c max no way i would definitely have a isolator or just run that by itself uh just because that resting voltage is even 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 higher so cool high output alternator is connected and we got all the batteries. We're gonna to try to stay around 4,700 watts and see if we can do better. I mean, I, I think we're gonna. Well, let's just take a look at it. See how that voltage is still staying around the 12s. Woo! Not bad and that's where the titan 8 is strong just like the agm but it's a stronger battery in my opinion um, i pulled 500 amps out of that down to 11 and we did uh, a whole volt higher and this is with the high output alternator so which one is best you know should i just upgrade this or i should upgrade that honestly it's best because once you go past what that alternator can do you're, you're in the same boat that you were before you upgraded. That's the thing. So you do want to have some kind of battery there to help take the brunt, the initial brunt. With the 2000 watt amplifiers, you know, you look at them and you're like, okay, all I need is a 200 amp fuse. We'll just double it for this. We need a 400 amp fuse. Well, if your electrical is not perfect, what happens is that current skyrockets to do the same amount of power now an amplifier at lower voltage usually won't do more power it's going to do less unless it's regulated like some of the kicker amps jl and just you know fancy stuff where it still does the same power at 12 and 14 kind of ish but still your efficiency is going to crap and your current's going to spike and your voltage because it's dropping your current's going to spike because of that and because you're clipping because you're like man why isn't this loud so you turn it up more and then your efficiency drops even more because when you're clipping it makes the amplifier work harder than it's just wasting heat wasting energy and that is why you melt fuses not blow them i mean yes you can blow them but from that slow blow of constantly going over you know we we're doing 442 that's really not going to blow a 400 amp fuse right away and if your connections aren't as good as they're supposed to be that's going to increase the resistance as well down to 11 volts titan is on high output alternator is connected let's do it Woo, baby sorry i didn't mean to scream that is awesome 7107 watts wow down to 11 volts and that's that's pushing that battery but honestly that's the bottom of the barrel of where you want to push it and uh that's a lot of power for just having one alternator 
an AGM, and a Titan. But again, if you want that higher voltage, if you would have a 6S back there, you'd probably be around 13 volts, but then you'd have to charge at 15.5. And that's, that's the give or take with all this stuff. So that's not a deal breaker. That's a lot of power, and that thing is going to be a brick wall at 11 and 12 volts, just like an AGM is. Catch the Living Loud with Andy show every Tuesday and Friday, 8.30 or 10 o'clock Eastern, and subscribe.